in, uh, I think it was 08, we had the uh, real estate uh, crisis uh, that took place. A whole lot of homes uh, were foreclosed. Uh, it is uh, argued that the recession-proof industry is entertainment. I, I, I would add on that now is uh, technology. I say this thing, Isaac, all the time. I've been pastoring for over 23 years. People have come to the church, helped me bury my mother, helped me stop my house from being foreclosed, helped my nephew not get thrown out of more house. In 23 years, nobody has ever come to the church to say, help me keep my cable on. Right. They're going to find a way to keep Netflix. Right. They are broke down to their last dime. Yeah. Nobody has ever said, help me save my Android. Right. They're going to come up with that monthly payment. Absolutely. Yeah, because entertainment has that base, whether we need to feel good while we're depressed, mm -hmm. we it is an opiate unto itself mm -hmm. uh, when it is that we're down. How do we get the larger community to see that this is uh, in best? I said to my church a couple of weeks ago, oh, 90% of black people don't own a single pair of stock. Yeah. Right? Right. And then the preacher get up and say, invest in the kingdom. Right. <laughs> what, are what are you talking about? about? Yes. So in a community that is not naturally drawn to investing mm -hmm. or have been conditioned for long-term gratification mm -hmm. and can't see that nine years you talking about from the 5,000 to 24 million. Yeah. How do we change the minds of the masses and say, this is a good investment? So I think the, edu the, the education and understanding of what seed investment is, the difference between retail investing and seed investing. So when you're seed investing, you're investing in the company before it goes public. So it's like, if you could invest in Nike or Apple before it became a success, there's so much more value in that right now, right? Mm -hmm. So when most people are investing in stocks, it's a it's a language that they don't understand. So people, when people think that, when people don't know something, they act like they do and just remain quiet. It's like, right. like everybody got questions and everybody's silent, like they don't wanna look stupid. So that's people just act like they know what they don't know. So I'm always willing to give information to tell people like, all right, this is what we need to be doing because with equity crowdfunding, it's the minimum to invest in fan base right now is $399, right? The minimum. Minimum, yes. yes. There is no maximum. Yes. But the minimum to invest is $399. You get 60 shares of stock and fan base at 665 a share. And so um, there's about $1.8 trillion worth of wealth, spending power that the black community has every year. And, and a, a not the majority, but a good portion of that goes to luxury goods and not essentials. Yes. I mean, just, you know, and so imagine taking you know, the $500 or $600 that you want to spend to go to dinner or go to the club or buy a $300 bottle of whatever or a section and just that one weekend or this one moment just put it into a company like Fanbase and forget about it. Like, all right, cool. It's there, you know, we're going to do that because I think for us, it 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 puts us in a position where we can repeat this again because I've, I've raised the money I'm the first black man to raise $10 million in Rex CF equity crowdfunding ever. Wow. So there's a lot of things that I've, I'm the first to do in, in, in on this journey. Yes. But I've also taken other people that I know and directed them towards equity crowdfunding and recommended them for starting. And so there's some brothers out of Chicago called the Black Bread Company. I directed them. Oh, yeah. So they they raised on start engine, raised a yeah. million dollars. Yeah. Uh, my girl, Benny Ashburn, she has a, a, a brewery called Crown and Hops. She went on start engine, raised a million dollars. Um, so I'm always giving... Um, anybody that I know the information on how they can go ahead and actually make money, make money investing and understand that how, how they can do that yeah. and, uh, and, and be able to, um, to do that. So, um, I want that message to be clear that, that this, this reg CF investing is extremely, extremely important. And it's something that you don't have to be afraid of because you don't have to put the, the house up. But what's more important about this is, and to let you know that it's really a fix is like, when accredited investors were um, allowed to invest in these companies, they always said that it was to protect the investor from making a bad decision. Right. We don't want you to waste your money on Apple <laughs> and just throw your life savings away at that, right? Right. So we we have we don't, we don't even let rich people do that. But they don't have a problem with you going to spend five thousand dollars in Vegas. None. They don't have a problem with you going to spend five thousand dollars on lottery tickets. Right. So why can't you put five thousand dollars on Apple? And gamble that way. No, that's great. Because because the, because the payoff from that is way bigger. 
Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a you, you you got a better chance. You have a better chance of investing in fan base and seeing a return than playing the lottery. No, I'm in. You know, I'm in. I'm, I'm, you know, my kids they have a portfolio. I want all of them man, to be in. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. We're raising 17 million dollars. We raised about 1.5, a little over 1.5 of this new round. And I say this too. There's 48 million black people in the United States of America, right? Just in the black community alone. Here's some math, and I like to, I like to break things down that don't, don't make them seem like I, I, I like to take mountains and turn them into molehills. Right. So, um, I think it's it's. Uh, 28,500 people investing $600 is $17,100,000. Say that again. 28,500 people yeah. investing $600 yeah. is $17,100,000. So the 48 million black people in the United States of America, all we need is 28,500 people to invest $600 in fan base, and we reach the $17 million goal. That's it. Put me down for five of them. Okay. Yeah, I'm in. I'm a- I need the Bryants to be in the record. So- I got to do it. Last week, uh, I'm sure you saw it. Uh, I think her name was uh, Fawn Weaver. Yes. Uh, became a billionaire. Yes. Off of liquor. Uh, um, she- Uncle Nearest. Uncle Nearest. Who, in- who invented Jack Daniels. The- yes. So, listen, the infrastructure, see? The infrastructure was there. Jack- uh, but the reason why I want to see you win and fan base win is I don't want uh, all of those who are in spaces of that billionaire circle uh, to be in entertainment uh, or athleticism. Yeah. Uh, but to see us uh, show part of our black genius uh, and brilliance, especially in the area of technology, and here in Atlanta, that's getting ready to be the East Coast Silicon Valley. 100%. Uh, we, we've got to be a part of it. 100%. Well, I, look, I say... To everybody out there that's watching, you can go to startengine.com slash fan base to invest in fan base um, and, and join the cap table. I mean, this is this is significant because, again, I think fan base is going to it's going to revolution. It's going to disrupt. It's going to disrupt sports. It's going to disrupt music. It's going to disrupt entertainment. It's going to disrupt all these businesses because, you know, like the ability. Think about Kai's not making 800000 He's making more money than rappers that are signed to labels. And he ain't got no deal. It's not, it's not, no, no, he's just he's making more than everybody. Listen to this, y'all. <laughs> he's making more than everyone in the WNBA. Right. Without exception. Without exception. But no matter whether you on Angel's side <laughs> exactly. or Caitlin's side. Yeah. He's doing it. He's, he's doing it. And he's doing it through subscriptions. Wow. And it's just the connect. It's like, you know, you know, there's like, there's like it's like 6 billion people on the planet with a smartphone, but only 250 uh, million people have Netflix. There's only four, there's only like 600 million people on music streaming services out of the, out of the 6 billion people on the planet. So when people subscribing to people, it's going to be bigger than Netflix or music streaming could ever be. So the fact that I can have a free app. Yes. Because mind you, the app is free. You can follow anybody you want. Yeah. Follow anybody you want. But if I want to subscribe to you, so you have exclusive content, or I want to subscribe to, Kai, or I want to subscribe to New Birth. Yeah, New Birth. Yes, and create that content. Yes, and subscribe to New Birth, and then you get that that tailor made content in this free site as well. It's going to change the world. It's going to like it's going to disrupt everything because actors are going to be able to make their own films and never have to go to a studio. Wow. Yeah. You know how many followers the Rock has? No. The Rock has like three hundred and eighty million followers on social media. Do you know 5% of the people that follow The Rock, just 5%, about 19 million, I think 800 people subscribing for $7 a month, he'd make $1.6 billion a year? No way. He has the, the, he already has the fan base. That's why I call it fan base, because 95% of the people that follow you right. are haters, they're, they're nosy, or they're mildly interested. But that 5% really want to see you win. And if those people around the world subscribe to him, he's making $1.6 billion a year, which lets me know he could take $200 million, shoot his own movie, Throw it at AMC for two weeks and then put it back on his fan base page, and people subscribe directly to him. I don't. What does he need a studio for? I'm hustling backwards. Hey, I I, I got to do it all all the way wrong. Yeah. I I I got I I cannot end. I got to ask you this, and my memory just uh, escaped me. Mm-hmm. What's the name? I can't even call it a song. Mm-hmm. What is the name? I'm gonna call it a song mm-hmm. that your dad did where he's just talking for like 17 minutes. Oh, you know about I Stand Accused? I Stand Accused. Oh, yeah. The monologues, they're Ike's raps. 
and had him reps. He ate, I mean. How yeah. long is that? I don't know how long is that. I can't remember. There's, that's a long one. I mean, Walk On By was 12 minutes. Yes. It was a 12 minute song. Yes. Um, And the, the rap, but I don't know. I mean, that he broke the mold in that. Because everything was 45. Everything right. was two, three minute songs. Right. He actually kind of ushered in the album era. You know, Shaft was the first platinum album by a black person. Johnny okay. Taylor had the Johnny Taylor had the first platinum single, but Shaft was the first platinum album by a black black man. Wow. Yeah, first platinum album by a black because they weren't really albums. Albums started becoming a thing in the seventies. Right. The sixties was like the forty fives. Right. They're coming from the you know fifties and sixties, and so he just created that whole that whole genre, and then he 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 took the pop sound and strings of Motown and the bottom soul of funk and put it together. So you can't even think of modern day R and B. Have, without having strings and flutes in it because of Isaac Hayes. There's no, there was no, that didn't exist before he did it. Incredible. So yeah. Man, salute to uh, your greatness, to your legacy, for finding your own lane. Yes, sir. Being your own trailblazer. Let me uh, invite all of you uh, to make sure you do two things. One, I need you to follow, like, and share on YouTube, the Jamal Bryant podcast, let's be clear. Two, brace yourself. Cause soon I'm going over the fan base. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Oh, we'll talk about it. Yeah, but I, I got to monetize. I got to figure out how to do it. New Birth going to be on there. I'm going to be on there. How many followers do you have? Not as many as The Rock. No, I think like, hey, 5% of The Rock. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's On Instagram, I'm at 755. Follow me on Instagram right now, Jamal. How many, how many is New Birth? New Birth is maybe at 155. Okay. And then what about the whole, like, the community, the congregation together, all together. All together, I have no idea. Okay. Yeah, there's a, but I mean, there, trust me, with that, there's still a lot in there. There's a lot going on. There's so much money in subscriptions. I don't, people, I just don't, people, I mean, because everything is a subscription. Your light bill is a subscription. It's, everything is. You got to come back on and do an exclusive conversation on jamalbryant.org. Go there, follow us there. I'm, I'm subscribing to everything. Let's subscribe to everything. Go to yeah. jamalbride.org. Give me your number, your email address, so we can bring Isaac Hayes back in the room. Yeah. And talk. Let's walk on by. You want to be a. You want to.